one called Style for Less where I'll be looking for looks at a much cheaper price. As a student, I know that it's a struggle to keep up with trends, especially when you're on a budget. That's why it brings me to this idea where I'll be sourcing for looks at a cheaper price so that you won't compromise on style and still keep up with trends. So in this segment, I'll be recreating select looks or simply just finding clothing items that are more affordable and in today's video, I'll be comparing prices with Australian brands and wholesale markets and as you know, I'm a super huge fan of Australian brands like I Love Shopo, Sabo Skirt, Mura Boutique The style is always on point, just that it's a little on the pricey side and I may not be able to afford every single time so thank god I've discovered wholesale markets like like Dressling where I can shop for similar clothing styles for a much cheaper price however because I've never ever shopped at the original Australian brands I cannot compare the quality but I'm sure you get for what you pay so the past few weeks I've been comparing prices with the various wholesale markets and it came down to Dressling which sells the cheapest of all and what I like about them is that they also convert to my currency which is Singapore dollars and that saves me a ton of trouble converting which really annoys me and for your convenience I have converted every single price to USD so that it's easier for you to do the comparing just to let you know I am not doing an advertisement for them this is purely my content and they probably don't even know I exist so yeah just a disclaimer so the first item is this grey romper if I were to compare just based on the appearance, I would say it looks exactly the same. He has ruffles at the bottom and a low v-neck. Originally from Mura Boutique at a price of $60-$16. Why only cost me $6.92 at dress link? Just look at that price difference. But of course I would predict that the quality would be much better at Mura Boutique. But for the price I pay at dress link, I don't think I can complain much. However, in fact, I must say for the price I paid, the quality was way better than I expected. Next, I got another very cute romper. Again, if I were to just compare based on the appearance, I would say they look exactly the same. Originally from I Love Shopo and the price from there is $55. Again, I wouldn't spend that much on a romper. While at dress they only cost me $761 and even comes with a free belt. Though it was kind of transparent and I'm a little disappointed with that, but I still really love the design of the romper. Last but not least is this printed dress. I initially thought it was a romper because it is a romper at Mura Boutique. Nevertheless, it still has the same print and style as the original one. The price at Mura Boutique is $27.31. Well, it's on discount right now but still doesn't beat the price at Dressling of only $7.38. I really love the material a lot because it's very silky, soft and comfortable to wear. What I don't like about this dress is that it's too short. Considering my height of 146cm, if it's short for me, I honestly do not know who else can wear this as a dress. And that brings me to the end of this week's video. I hope you enjoyed this type of comparison slash review slash stuff for less type of video. You can show me that you enjoy it by giving it a thumbs up and like always, do subscribe to me if you haven't and my social media links will be linked down below and I hope to see you very soon. Bye! We can break these chains.